Is Luka Doncic better than Larry Bird in the NBA? When NBA players break onto the scene in a huge way, fans around the league always compare them to former greats. Luka Doncic has been compared to players such as Magic Johnson and LeBron James, but the player who he most closely compares to is pretty clear, Larry Legend. They are very close in size, with Bird being a little taller and have similar games with a sweet stroke the ability to handle the ball, and great vision. Both players have lifted their organizations to places they were well below before they arrived. It is amazing when matching Doncic's journey up against Larry Bird and seeing how the two compare. The question everybody wants to know is, who are you taking, Larry or Luka? Doncic Pre-NBA Days Doncic began his professional career at 16 years old, playing for Real Madrid of the Liga ACB. During his first season in 2015, although he did not play very much, he began to make a name for himself and it was pretty clear he was going to be something special. The following season, Doncic made his way up to the EuroLeague as a senior member of Real Madrid. Although he played most of the season in Liga ACB, he was able to make 12 appearances in the EuroLeague, averaging 3.5 points, 2.3 rebounds, and 2 assists per game. During that season, Doncic set a new record for most points scored in ACB games for a player under the age of 17. The following season, 2016 and 17, Doncic split time between Liga ACB and the EuroLeague. This was when everybody began to realize that Doncic was a once-in-a-generation talent. In the quarterfinals of the EuroLeague playoffs, Doncic averaged 11 points, 5 rebounds, and 7 assists, leading Real Madrid to the EuroLeague Final Four and earned MVP of the round. Doncic has also earned Player of the Week honors multiple times during his time that season playing in Liga ACB. After playing 42 ACB games during the 2016-2017 season, Doncic averaged 7.5 points, 4.4 rebounds, and 3 assists. And through 35 EuroLeague games, he averaged 7.8 points, 4.5 rebounds, and 4.2 assists per game. Doncic was honored with the EuroLeague Rising Star Award by unanimous vote and also received the ACB Best Young Player Award. After Real Madrid's star player tore a major ligament in his knee leading up to the 2017-18 season, there was no doubt Luka was going to have to shoulder a heavy load in the EuroLeague as an 18-year-old. In his first EuroLeague game of the season on October 12th, Doncic scored a career-high 27 points to help beat Anadolu Efes. On October 24th, Doncic was named EuroLeague MVP of the round after exploding for 27 points, 8 rebounds, 5 assists, and 3 steals. At the end of October, he earned EuroLeague MVP of the Month honors, becoming the youngest player to ever win the award. On December 8th, Doncic set a career high in scoring with 33 points, 6 rebounds, and 4 assists against Olympiakos Piraeus. In December, the Slovenian sharpshooter was named ACB Player of the Month, becoming the youngest recipient ever. On May 9th, Doncic reported 17 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists in 22 minutes against Real Betis Energia Plus for the first triple-double in the ACB since the 2006-2007 season and the seventh in league history. When playoff time rolled around, Doncic shined brightest. He finished with 16 points, 7 rebounds, and 2 assists on May 18th in a 92-83 win over CSKA Moscow in the EuroLeague semifinals. On May 20th, he led Real Madrid to a EuroLeague Finals victory. He was named EuroLeague Final Four MVP and soon after was awarded with the EuroLeague MVP award, becoming its youngest winner. After averaging 16 points, 4.9 rebounds, and 4.3 assists per game, he also repeated as the EuroLeague Rising Star, becoming the third back-to-back -back winner of the award. To put icing on the cake, Doncic earned the ACB Best Young Player and MVP accolades after helping his team defeat Kirill Bebasconia in the league finals. On June 29, 2018, he parted ways with Real Madrid and declared for the NBA draft. Doncic was later nominated to the EuroLeague 2010-2020 All-Decade Team. Doncic was an obvious talent, and although he did not completely dominate the competition, he was playing against grown men as a teenager, and he was not only holding his own, but rather getting the best of the opposition. Larry's College Days After attending Springs Valley High School and averaging 31 points, 21 rebounds, and 4 assists as a senior on his way to becoming the school's all-time leading scorer, Bird received a scholarship to play basketball for the University of Indiana Hoosiers. Bird, being from a small town of French Lake, Indiana, found it very difficult to adjust to the massive campus at Indiana. Bird dropped out of school before ever playing a game. For the next year, Bird enrolled at Northwood Institute near his home, where he worked regular jobs and did not play basketball. The following season, Bird decided to attend Indiana State University, which was a much smaller school than the University of Indiana. Bird immediately showed he could compete with any player in the country and outperform most. During his first season with the Sycamores, Bird averaged over 32 points and 13 rebounds. These types of numbers are unheard of for a player competing in their first year of college ball. At the conclusion of the season, 
Bird was named to the All-American third team. The following season, Bird second with ISU, he averaged 30 points and over 11 boards. Following the season, Bird was honored with an All-American first team selection. The following year was Bird's best in college because he carried Indiana State to the national finals. Although Bird was bested by Michigan State, who featured a pair of All-Americans in Magic Johnson and Greg Kelser, the numbers Bird put up during the 1979 season were incredible. Considering Indiana State was not nationally ranked before the season started and were not even expected to win their own conference, it was shocking when Bird carried them all the way to the finals. During the season, he averaged averaged over 28 points and about 15 rebounds, making a second straight All-American first team. Doncic wins Roy in landslide In 2017-2018, the Dallas Mavericks won a total of 24 games, failing to make the playoffs. Although the Mavs did not improve as much as the organization would have liked the following year, they did win nine more games and finished with a record of 33-49. The Mavericks failed to make the playoffs again, but a star had been born in the Longhorn State. Luka Doncic averaged over 21 points, just under eight rebounds, and six assists per game. He had multiple eight triple doubles throughout the season, with four of them coming as a teenager, the most all-time. Doncic went on to win the NBA Rookie of the Year award in a row, recording 98 of the possible 100 first-place votes. Doncic did not stop in the top 12 when it came to MVP voting. But he did show right away that he was an up-and-coming superstar and he was going to lead the next generation of talent in the NBA. Bird turns the Celtics around Larry Bird was able to do something during his rookie year that Luka Doncic was not able to do, completely turn a franchise around. The year before Bird arrived in Boston, the Celtics won only 29 games, which was the second worst mark in the league. Unbelievably, after Bird's rookie year, the Celtics had the best record in the NBA with a 61-21 record. There was no doubt who the best player and engine of the team was. Bird led the team in scoring, averaging over 21 points per game, led the team in rebounds with over 10 per game, and was second on the team, averaging 4.5 a game. Bird made his first of 12 All-Star appearances and led the Celtics to the Eastern Conference Finals, where they were ousted by the Philadelphia 76ers. Larry Bird not only won the Rookie of the Year award in a landslide over Magic Johnson, 63 of a possible 66 first place votes, he finished fourth in the MVP vote. This vote was extremely impressive considering the amount of stars there were in the league at this time, with players such as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Julius Irving, Magic Johnson, George Gervin, and Moses Malone. This solidified Bird as the top player in the league and he was only in his first year. Doncic makes a big leap. Luka Doncic has taken his game to the next level during his sophomore season. He is one of four or five players that are being mentioned as early season MVP frontrunners. Doncic is scoring at a monstrous pace, recording over 30 per game. He is also averaging 10 rebounds and 9 assists per game. It is not out of the question to think he could average a triple-double for the season. More importantly, the Mavericks are playing great basketball, with Doncic as the clear alpha male on the team. Dallas has the third-best record in the Western Conference and will likely make the playoffs for the first time since 2015-2016. They are on pace to win about 58 games, which would be an astounding 25 more wins than last season. If Doncic is able to keep this pace and the Mavs continue to win, expect Doncic to be within the top three when it comes to MVP voting at the end of the season. Bird gets some bling. Going into Bird's second season with the Celtics, he had one thing on his mind, win a ring. The Celtics were not able to make the finals the year before, but Bird had different plans going into this season. The Celtics won 62 games in Bird's sophomore campaign. Again, good for the most wins in the NBA. Larry averaged 21 points, 11 rebounds, and over five assists. He also chipped on the defensive end, averaging two steals per game. The Celtics matched up with the Philadelphia 76ers for the second straight season in the conference finals. But this time, there was a different result. After falling behind 3-1 in the series, Bird led the Celtics back to eventually win the series in seven games. Boston went on to defeat the Houston Rockets in the NBA Finals in six games. During the playoffs, where the best teams and players in the league are going head-to-head, -head, Bird shine. He averaged 22 points, 14 rebounds, six assists, and two steals throughout the postseason. Although Bird finished second in the regular season MVP voting to Julius Irving, he outplayed Irving in the conference finals and was able to send the doctor and his clients packing. Final thoughts. Although Luka Doncic has had a spectacular start to his NBA career, he has a long way to go to be mentioned with the all-time greats such as Larry Bird. Bird is thought by many to be one of the best five basketball players to ever live, and Doncic is still looking for his first playoff appearance. When Doncic turns 30 years old, this may be very difficult to debate if he continues on the road he is going. Larry Bird was already thought of as one of the best 3-5 players in the league during his first couple years, and although Doncic is trending towards that, he is not quite the player Bird was at this point in his career. Bird affected winning unlike many players that have ever stepped on the hardwood. 
If Luka wants to be mentioned in the same breath as Larry Bird, he needs to make sure he is making the players around him better. One thing is certain, if Luka Doncic is going to have a career that compares to Larry Bird, we are all in for a treat.